you know, Musk made up uh, a name for it called neural lace, the actual impl- implant. Mm-hmm. Um, what it actually is is a simple, very fine mesh that's like a couple microns thick. Okay. <clears throat> you so th- so fine that you could fold it up and fit it in a syringe. And the Harvard scientist's idea with this brain computer interface was that they would put that mesh into a syringe, then inject it in the carotid artery eventually. Okay. And send it up. And it would go up to the brain and unfold yeah. and incorporate. And they couldn't figure out how to get that carotid artery avenue open. It's but, like when they do ablations in people who have AFib. They do it up right. through the groin that goes up the artery into the heart. But what they got as far as still opening up the head with the hole, planting the mesh into a rat or monkey brain, it would unfold. It took about a week, I think it was, to unfold, and it was, had no side effects. And then it would start working as a transmitter with a translation module externally. And um, they, they actually could, could feed rats information and get information from the rats' brains. However, another neuroscientist I talked to about this, I interviewed at University of Michigan, she said, well, what they didn't tell you in their article was that the body attacks that mesh. Of as course a it foreign would. Body, it's a foreign body. And there's no way to prevent that attack. So it dissolves the whole mesh within six months.